I'm Princess Manasseh here from the LA Sentinel and we are with the cast of Instant Mom to talk about the show and life and show business. Yeah. How are you guys <laughs> feeling today, kids? Fantastic. Fantastic. Excellent. 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 Okay. Excellent. So you guys have been working hard on the set. I've seen you guys in action today. Tell me a little bit about how you got into acting. I want to start with Sydney first oh, because. Microphone <laughs> fast to me. Um, okay. Well, I started when I was five. Um, I lived in the Bay Area, and um, it was just me and my parents, and. I really was always kind of a crazy kid and um, you know I would do school performances and go on my little tutu and you know dance for my parents in the living room and we actually moved to LA not for me for my parents um, and then my mom started working at the Hollywood Improv um, and I began my career with uh, stand-up comedy oh, wow. when I was six years old and uh, that's how I really got started, and one of the producers from uh, That's a Raven, that was my first gig, and then it just kind of went on from there. Um, but, yeah. That's awesome. How, that's how it began. All right, Jamar, pass it on down to the youngster. It's still kind of crazy. <laughs> um, I am crazy. I started acting when I was about get six years old. I, I joined in with my sister because my sister was an actress, not actually an actress, but she had an agent when I lived in North Carolina, and she was just a talented, talented girl, and she wanted to go on stage and show off and do a lot of things. So and I'm like, oh, this looks pretty fun. Let me just join in. <laughs> so I joined in and we moved to LA. And wow. Since then, I've been just acting. Me and my sister just moving on. Okay. And Tyrone, I know you also have siblings in the entertainment industry, actors as well. Two big brothers that act as well. All right, and so did they kind of help get you into the field or did you choose on your own? I started acting, like, I'm serious about this. I started acting when I was three months old. <laughs> what were you doing at three months old? I was doing print work okay. and that kind of stuff. And in my old house in New York, we got a picture <laughs> of my middle brother. He was doing an ad for, like, soap <laughs> or something. And he's on, like, the counter with his dad messing around with shaving cream. <laughs> so we got started in, like, print. Okay. And we were living in New York. Okay. And we were acting. And my oldest brother, he booked a show, Everybody Hates Chris. Mm -hmm. We all had to move out here. Mm -hmm. And everything started happening. Mm -hmm. Then I got a call from my agent. We have this um, pilot the one you to audition for with Tia Maori in it. I was like, okay. Yeah. I auditioned. I got the call back. Then I got everything else. And yeah. Uh, hey, do you? And then my agent called me later on when I was at my home. Hey, um, do you have time to do a pilot? Because you just booked one. I was like, oh, yay. Yeah. And a year after that, hey, do you have time to do a TV show? Because you just got one. And it's called Instant Mom. I was like, yes. Nice. Okay. Yeah, how long ago was that? Yeah, about a year ago. Wow. Oh, about, about a year, year ago. Nice. Yeah. yeah. Okay, and so Sydney, talk to me about Tia, since you mentioned Tia. How has it been working with oh, her? Okay, Tia Maury Hardrick is amazing. The she bomb. Really is. She is the bomb. Like, mm -hmm. she really bomb. is. Like, you know, on the show, she plays our stepmom. Mm -hmm. um, you know, her character, Stephanie, is very much, you know, kind of like a former party girl and kind of naive in a sense when it comes to parenting, but she's she's been kind of picking up our little, like, yeah. nuances and how we work Learning. as kids. Mm -hmm. Tia is just, like, she's just great, you know, to like learn from. Sick. She's been in the business for so long. Mm -hmm. And, um, you know, especially for me, you know, me being an African-American girl, mm -hmm. you know, she's kind of, like, a really great example, not only to young girls, but I feel like just to anyone in the industry. Mm -hmm. Um and she's just great. Yeah. She's funny. She's okay. Really sweet. It's like it's like a family. Yeah. Yeah. Really yeah. I watched Twitches yesterday. Yeah. Right now, watch Did you watch Twitches? I, I watched that Twitches. is my favorite movie. <laughs> Twitches too. Favorite like, movie oh, ever. Like, what the heck? Let me just watch Twitches too. <laughs> and fast. The like, sec two. I like Twitches okay, too. Okay, I say this here. How long? How long ago did you Twitches? And she says eight years ago. I'm like. I wasn't even born yet. <laughs> <laughs> I wasn't. Deborah, how old are you? Eight years old. Eight years old. <laughs> I asked that question like three days ago. I'm like, Miss Tia, how, like, were you really young when you did Twitches 2? She was like, 
It's like, um, about eight years ago, I'm like, I wasn't a boy. Oh. I was, was so funny. <laughs> I was three. I was three. That means I was, I was three. Yeah, guys. Wait a minute. Keep that. Keep that tomorrow. Okay, you guys are all young people. So Nickelodeon is a station for you guys, for your generation. Nick and Night is something that I'm sure all you and your friends watch. Mm -hmm. How is it starring on a show for you tomorrow? That on a network that your all your friends watch. Wow, I mean that's amazing. Yeah. Like I'll tell all my friends to watch it, and then if I probably go outside and play, like all my friends are like, hey, hey, I love your show. I'm like, oh, thank you. <laughs> yeah, nice. Amazing. Yeah. Then, yeah. How's it been for you? What's the response been like? Um, it's just been great, and I get a lot of, um, I got a lot of, like, tweets from people saying that they really love the dynamic between the brothers, and, you know, especially my relationship with Tia, mm -hmm. um, on the show, because it's very, it's kind of, it's, it's special, because she is my stepmom, and mm -hmm. I am at a really pivotal age, and she's trying to kind of grow up, in a sense, you know, it's mm -hmm. time to settle down, so... Um, but I've just been getting a lot of really good feedback, not only about my character, but just from like everyone on the show. Mm -hmm. like Michael's character, um, Michael Boatman, who plays Charlie, and our dad. Um, everybody loves Shirley Ralph, who plays Maggie, our mm -hmm. grandmother. I mean, really? we just, yeah, she is mm -hmm. brilliant, really. I mean, I just get a lot of positive feedback. And it just makes me really happy because, you know, sometimes I'll even get the fun ones where they're like, they take a picture of the, the, you know, their family sitting there watching Nick at night. Oh, cute. And your mom comes on. Yeah. And I'm like, well, that's great that they can settle yeah. yeah. down yeah. all together. Great, yeah. great feedback. You mentioned your parents. It was just you and your parents. Do you have any brothers or any siblings? I don't. You don't? So how's it working with these two then? It's great. You kind of get a flavor. Brothers, like, I've always said to myself, gosh, I kind of want a brother. But now I have two brothers. Oh, okay. You know, they're, they're like my little babies. Yeah. Thailand. Do you have any sisters? Only brothers. Only brothers. So, do you enjoy working with Sydney and having a big sister on the set? Yeah, it's like working with a real sister. I <laughs> <laughs> see her every day. I'm like, hey, Sydney. Hey, hey Thailand. Thailand. <laughs> <laughs> That's nice. So, do you ever get any tips from your older brothers about about acting and how to how to handle yourself for the press and all that? Yeah. Mostly for acting. Mm hmm Because for the press, it's always just like, just do you. <laughs> yeah, just yeah. be yourself. But for acting, your brothers give you tips. Yes. Yeah. And a lot of people probably say, you look a lot like, because you look so much like yeah. Tyler. I yeah. get yeah. all the time. Are you, you like that guy? <laughs> <laughs> like, no. Yes, I shrunk in size. <laughs> and the show that aired like four years ago, I'm still the same height. <laughs> <laughs> so you get mistaken for him a lot. Okay, but he does help you and he does give you tips. Excellent. Well, guys, thanks so much for talking to the Sentinel. We know you got to get back and film some more stuff. But it was great to have you guys. Yes. All right.